Well, hello guys and welcome here to a new video and today we are going to talk a bit about the Chroma network since they actually did do an update today regarding a new Galaxy campaign where you actually can get a lot of NFTs and those NFT most likely will reward you with a decent airdrop in the future. And if that sounds interesting, well, I suggest you should leave a like, comment and subscribe because that helps out the channel quite a lot. And also make sure to join the Discord, link in the description down below. But without further ado, let's actually get started. So before we talk actually about the quests, I think it's actually important to mention Chroma itself, what they already have done regarding NFTs and pretty much what I think is somewhat important regarding the upcoming airdrop. Well, there were in the past already a campaign where you needed to complete nine different quests and if you did complete those nine different quests, you would be rewarded with the Chroma Quest Master NFT. And pretty much that NFT is the NFT that you want to have regarding the airdrop in my humble opinion. At the moment it's fairly cheap at around $62. It is fairly easy to obtain, only 31,000 are in existence and definitely if you don't have one yet and but let's say if you didn't complete the quests back then, it is still fairly cheap to acquire those and in my humble opinion I think that NFT will play one of the biggest roles regarding the airdrop. We already know that the TGE for the token will be around July so we got a few months left to pretty much explore Chroma and just in general the ecosystem what they have to offer and I think being one of the holders for the Chroma Quest NFT is one thing you should look out for and then also the Chroma Genesis NFT which is I think their very first NFT and also here it says additionally we are eagerly anticipate the limitless potential and possibilities that will unfold on the mainnet this again could be some sort of airdrop multiplier or something if you hold it that at some point will be able to be converted into something else and again it is very cheap to acquire only 3.3 bucks at the given moment again that can change in the future it can go up it can go down but nevertheless i would still try to get at least one we already have uh, all of the nfts that we mentioned simply because we did the quests back then and we also did a bit of volume again doing a bit of volume could help in general not only talking about NFTs, but simply being a bit active on the network. You have Izumi Finance, for example, where you could supply some liquidity or even just farm some transactions in general, or you just bridge over some Ethereum, first of all. And now let's actually talk about the new quests that they released. And this is again targeted at gamers i would say um if you have some experience regarding gaming well there you go these quests are for you even though it's not even all about gaming it's fairly simple to actually come and get those it's based first come first serve so the faster you do the quest pretty much the better it is for you to actually get the nfts and as you can see you get around five nfts Per quest and starting off with the first um, quest it's actually fairly simple you just pretty need to be active in the chroma discord server and have the chrome role. you need to follow them on twitter and retweet something and also be a chroma space user and you have that you pretty much can come and claim five of those nfts and for the claim you actually need to have the ethereum over on the chroma network but don't worry we are going to talk a bit about how you can actually bridge over since that is also a part of the quests that you need to do nevertheless the second thing is also pretty pretty simple you just need to retweet and head over onto the website and pretty much you are already set you see 815 people already participated now we go over onto different stuff which is again talking about bridging and we have the two bridges that we already covered quite a lot here in the past which is our two and orbiter and again 
what you need to do is bridge any token from the Chroma network or to the Chroma network via O2 Finance. And for that, sadly, they don't, um, how to say it, cover the transactions you did in the past because we already bridged over with O2. But nevertheless, it's fairly simple how you can do it. You just need to select the destination network, for example, to be Chroma, and you can simply bridge over from any given network onto Chroma, and the moment you don't so, you pretty much are able to verify that over here. And again, you see here the update time. If they are using the project's APY, it could be that it takes a day to actually update, since I think that's the case, for example, for Orbiter Finance, simply because no one has the NFT yet. And you can see the last update time was five days ago. And that is one thing that could be the case again. You get always five NFTs for completing a quest. And for you to complete all the quests, it's fairly simple. Most of them here again, complete a cross chain or on chain swap to or on Chroma network. And you just need to follow them again on Twitter. And we got again the same bridging with Renofi. Then we got here some other stuff that you need to do. For example, you need here to play the game at least once, but that again is also fairly easy to do. We have here the tiny blackjack NFT, which is playing blackjack. And we also have here other stuff that you can do. You have definitely a lot of uh, different quests that you can do. And again, I would recommend just doing the ones you pretty much want to do again if you do them all well that's better for you since those nfts could very likely be something that turns into a token or at least into some sort of rewards it could be like manta that you get some sort of boxes you can open them and then inside there's a certain amount of token or whatever and again depending obviously on the interest in the community regarding chroma those NFTs could also go up in price on the aftermarket when they actually are no longer being able to mint. And depending obviously on Chroma and the network itself, the value will be determined by the community. And I cannot guarantee you that you make good returns with this airdrop. But again, pretty much it's free money because the transactions over on the Chroma network are simply cheap. And the moment you have your Ethereum over, you pretty much can do all the stuff when you have the time. And pretty much if you are done, well, congratulations, you might get a good allocation in the airdrop. And I think it's one of the airdrops that's a bit under the radar. Not a lot of people are aware about it, simply because there's not a much hype as, for example, about ZK Sync. Everyone knows ZK Sync. So obviously uh, the hype around it is a bit bigger than, for example, something like Chroma. And nevertheless, it's definitely worth doing so. Again, all the links in the description down below, and we will see us in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.